The Ukrainian capital of Kyiv was one of the first cities targeted in the initial Russian invasion, leaving residents there with an impossible choice to stay or to go. Either one, very difficult. The Kyiv School of Economics decided to stay and expanded its MBA program to what they call an MBA on the front line. Joining us now with insight on the economics policies and life in Ukraine is Timofey Mil Milovanov, uh, former Minister of Economic Development, Trade and Agriculture of Ukraine and president of the Kyiv School of Economics. Timothy, thank you so much for being here today. We really appreciate it. And first of all, I was just reading your, your Twitter thread this morning where you were recalling that day one year ago. Um, and I'm just curious if you can tell us, first of all, what this year has been like for you and your family. Yeah, so, you know, uh, the one thing I learned during the war is that, uh, that basically it's not in what you expect. My main fears or my main achievements, I'm very mundane. On the first day of the war, my main fear was not the jets flying over me uh, or um, shooting of tanks uh, about five miles away. We got stuck in the bad area, but we were able to escape. Uh, it's that my car runs out of gas and my family will be stuck with me. So this very, very simple thing like lack of water, lack of heat and electricity, hygiene. This, um, they're much more pressing than some kind of big picture about the war and even life. Uh, but over the years, we, we, over this year, we have learned that we exist. We continue to be resilient. We, determination has become, has set in. Uh, and I think the difference between the first year, uh, first day of war and the 36th day of war, that the determination has become much more personal because we have lost so many people who are, who are close to us. And, and Timothy, I'm really fascinated to learn what an MBA on the front line looks like because we were just talking um, and looking at some pictures on screen of the crumbling of all the attacks on the infrastructure there. What are you focusing on with the MBA program here? Oh, well, absolutely. So we are fortunate to have a lot of goodwill around the world uh, from top universities to engage with us. And uh, this week I'm in DC and I just was in Boston and Chicago setting up relationships with other top schools. Uh, but the idea is that people came in from European business schools and said, let us help you. Let us teach you uh, how we can be useful. And so we set up, um, uh, all classes are now adjusted. Let's say with the wartime economy or leadership in extreme circumstances or uh, operational management under supply chain disruptions. And we do it uh, always hot thought. You know, it's always a, a, a faculty member in Ukraine who is on the ground, who is physically in residence, understands what the war is like, a, and a professional and international top faculty from uh, some top university who gives frameworks, who gives a broader perspective. And I think it was uh, influential and extremely beneficial for students during the war. And Timothy, what have you learned as you've, I mean, effectively, you're seeing a case study of an economy in wartime, right? In your home, in your very homeland. What have you seen? How, how, how well has the economy be, been able to operate, especially as, sad to say it, you've been sort of, you've learned to function under war conditions? Yeah, I think there are three insights. One of them is, is almost, you know, trivial, but it's, uh, if you think about it, it's not heroic. You just have to keep doing your job, you know, on the, the war, on the thir third day of the war, on the 365th day of the war. You know, people are doing their jobs. You know, schools are running, gas stations are running, investment funds are running, government is running. It's really challenging to do your job uh, during the war, but you have to do it. The second one is uh, think a little bit long term. Again, it's a trivial inside, but you have to be prepared for all kinds of contingencies which might happen an hour from now or 10 hours from now or 10 months from now. And you have to plan for all of this. So planning is essential. Being ready for everything in advance is essential. And the third one is human people. It's about people. It's about supporting each other. It's about hugging each other. It's about being a kinder person. It's about loving. So yeah, these are the three insights They're They are trivial in some sense, but they are also very profound. And you talked a bit about planning. What about planning for the eventual resolution? There will, we hope, uh, sooner rather than later, be, uh, be a rebuilding of sorts, uh, new businesses. How is that going? And what is the education push looking like towards that? Yeah, people are setting up uh, all kinds of programs and uh, scaffolding to help uh, businesses uh, 
to uh, recover and rebuild also during the war right now to be resumed, but also after the war, you know, operations management, program uh, management, leadership. Uh, and I think there will be three stages. One stage is ongoing right now. You know, the war has not ended and I hope it will end soon, but it is now there. You still have to run businesses. A yeah. strong economy means the war will end uh, earlier. So therefore, there's this element, how do we rebuild what's being destroyed now, understanding that it might be re destroyed tomorrow. Then there is a second stage, everyone is thinking, the moment the war is over, there'll be an immediate, maybe a six month stage, where all the critical infrastructure, housing, uh, medical services, schools, uh, uh, that will be rebuilt. And after that, there'll be the third stage, which probably will be a long, decade long, rebuilding the economy, joining the EU, uh, and uh, just building a prosperous democracy. Um, Timothy, I can't tell you how, how invaluable it is to get your insight today. And we wish you all the best. We wish you health um, to you and your family. Thank you for joining us. Timothy Milovanov is former economic development minister of Ukraine, trade and agriculture of Ukraine and president of the Kiev School of Economics doing that MBA on the front line. Thank you.